Grand Central Station, a crossroads of human diversity, and the ideal setting for a glimpse into one of the most significant genetic studies ever developed. In April 2005, National Geographic and IBM launched the Genographic Project, a massive five-year effort to trace our DNA back tens of thousands of years to our earliest ancestors. I wanted to draw people together to make people realize that we're a part of an extended family. My name is Spencer Wells. I work for the National Geographic. Would you be interested in maybe giving us a sample? Can we be a part of it? 100%. Sure, as long as it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. Well, let's get you started, Swabic. Yep, up and down. So far, the Genographic Project has collected over 200,000 samples, and IBM's Computational Biology Group has been helping analyze the results. Biology has become an information science. So the research problems that we focus on have to do with how you can analyze the data, what kind of new information you can extract, and relate it to biology. It gives us much more intrinsic capability to apply a myriad of other problems and issues in the world. is back to an ancestor in, in Africa around 35,000 years ago. A little group of them made it over into Europe, and they were your direct ancestors. It's quite interesting. To the last 15 to 20,000 years, our ancestors were extremely adept, using sophisticated weapons, small stone blades. It kind of makes me understand why I feel that I'm such a survivor. I'm at the sand bed from the first I've ever thought to populate the Philippines. That's just, that's just mind-boggling. What was surprising was that we were the actual first humans to ever plant seeds. And from that, we generated this huge cultivation of crops. And, and we pretty much changed the face of, I guess, mankind as we would. The cool thing that, that comes out of this research is obviously that we're all connected to each other and that we scattered to the wind, if you will, to populate the world in the last 60,000 years.